Do you worry about the circumventing of this natural process by artificial intelligence? That artificial intelligence is going to introduce some new, incredibly powerful factor into this whole chain of events. That by having sex robots and sex or or, or, or um, robot workers, yes, uh, things becoming automated, yes. This I'm I'm concerned. I mean, this is I, I think. Well, I'm co- is- I'm very concerned about how technology is going to affect our economy. The, these again, these concerns were not the first generation to face these concerns. There were similar concerns with the industrial revolution that workers were being put out of work when machines were invented. Nevertheless, work persisted. People still had jobs to do. Um, there was a disruption. There's no doubt about it. I think Google and the information revolution and these types of robotic automation are disruptive. They're going to affect how we allocate labor and capital and data in our society. There's no doubt about all of that. I thought you were alluding to, just to check if you were, to the debate, which I don't know the answer to, on whether AI will you know, are we going to face like a Terminator type existence where, you know, the machines rise up and kill us all or not? And, you know, very smart people are on both sides of that debate. And Mm. I read them all and like, I'm like, he's right. And then I read the guy that has the opposite opinion. I'm like, no, no, he's right. And then it goes back and forth. I don't know who's right. Well, it goes back to nuance, right? Yes, it is nuance, but it's hard to know whether, and again, we're not talking over our lifetimes, we're right. talking over hundreds of years. Yes. You know, is there a time a thousand years from now when the human beings will say, what the hell were our ancestors doing inventing artificial intelligence? They're wiping us out. I don't know the answer to that question. Well, I think there's an issue also with the, the concept of artificial, like artificial life, artificial intelligence. It's, uh, I think it's going to be a life. It's just going to be a life that we've created. And I don't think it's artificial. I just think it's a different kind of life. I think that we're thinking of biologically based life, of sex, you know, uh, yes. you know well, reprodu- some people- re- reproduction in terms of the way we've always known it <laughs> as being the only way that life exists. But if we can create something and that something decides to do things, it decides to out recreate. And live yeah. on its own. Yeah, it's silicone based life form. Yeah. Like why not? Why why does life yeah. have to be something that only exists through the you know, multiplication yes. of cells? Yes. You're, that's very charitable of you. And uh it's people make that claim. Uh, some people think that you know those machines in the distant future will look back at, at us as like one stage of evolution that sure. culminated in them. That we are some. Yes. I've always said that we are some sort of an electronic uh, caterpillar that doesn't yes. know that it's going to give birth to a butterfly. Yes. We're making a cocoon. And we don't even know what yes. we're doing. That's a great metaphor. I have a hard time accepting that because you're a person. Yes. It's against my interests. Uh, right, but we're so flawed. All these things that we've outlined, yes, all the problems yes, with us, yes. those will go away with artificial intelligence. This is a deep philosophical question, Joe. Yeah, I well, mean, I, I think it's inevitable. And I think if the single cell organisms are sitting around wondering what the future would going to be like, well, are we going to be replaced? Will they what's make antibiotics and kill us? Yes. What's yes, happen? they are going to make yeah. antibiotics and kill us. I mean, this is, I mean, we are so flawed. Oh, we do you, pollute great... the ocean. We do pull the fish out of it. Yeah. We do fuck up the air. Yeah. We do commit genocide. Yeah. There's all these things that are real. But the artificial life won't have those problems because it won't be emotionally based. It won't be biologically based. It'll just exist. That's a really good uh, story. We're so flawed. Why not? No, accept we're not. I'm not going to so grant we're flawed. Oh, we're very flawed. We are flawed, but like I said, we have so a how flawed are you not beauty. Grant it. I'm not going to. We're very flawed. though. we are flawed. <laughs> I think it's beautiful, beautiful too. But I think vultures probably think they're beautiful too. That's why they breed with each other. Well, they are beautiful, but but the point is, I think we have a flawed beauty. I like. Yeah. I, I'm going to stick sure. to my principles that we are, despite our flaws, worth it. But there is something wonderful about us, and I think that that wonderful creative quality is the reason why we created artificial life in the first place. Mm. It's like this, this you know, lust but we've had for that, creation. We've had that impetus. You know, if you look at a lot of the, um, the art, whether it's the Egyptian, you know, the, 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 the pyramids uh, or other kinds of um, artistic expression, we seem to have had a desire to transcend death, you know, to make things that, sure. that looked like us but weren't alive right. f- forever. Actually, right. so I mean, I think in that regard, I think you're quite right that um, it's not going to stop. That tendency is not going to stop. Now, your your very, as I said, charitable, positive take on the claim and your analogy to single celled organisms, which were just you know, but a fleeting, not a fleeting, they're still there, but a phase in our evolution, you know, is something I'm going to have to be thinking about because it's disturbing, honestly. Well, it's an objective perspective. If I took myself out of the human race, which I really can't, but if I tried to fake it. 
I would say, oh, I see what's going on here. Yeah, these we're dummies, just the face, yes. These dummies are buying iPhones and new MacBooks because they, they know that this is what's going to help the production of newer, more superior technology. Yes. The more we consume, it's also based, I think, in a lot of ways, our insane desire for materialism is fueling this. Yes. And it could be an inherent property of the human species that it is designed to create this artificial life. And that literally is what it's here for. And much like an ant is creating an ant hill and doesn't yes. exactly have some sort of a future plan yes. for its kids and its 401k yeah. plan. That what we're doing is like this inherent property of being a human being, our curiosity, yeah. our wanderlust, our desire, our all these things. Yeah, all these things are built in because if you follow them far enough down the line, 100 years, 200 years, it inevitably leads to artificial life.